Now that we have a token, I need to store that token somewhere so that subsequent HTTP requests that go out after the user has logged in will be able to send that token along in a header. I would like to do that with another service, a service I'm going to call current user. I have a template set up here that will go ahead and register current user as a service for Angular. And currently that service is just an empty object. I'll need to add a few things here. Now, one thing I would like to add is some sort of member to the service that will hold the state of my user. You can think of it as a model that is stored in a service, a model that represents the current user. And by storing that in a service, which is a singleton, I'll be able to use that from different places. For example, over in the login controller, I already have this set up to inject the current user service and assign a property on that service called profile to a user property that I expose from my model that I bind to the view. That allows me to do things inside of a view, like check to see if the user is logged in. So this means my current user will at least need a profile member. And I think what I can do is have that member point to an object that I'll define in my service and I'll give it the name profile here also. Profile can be an object that starts off with a username property. We're not going to know the name of the user when they first come to the application. So we'll initialize that as empty. This can also be where we store the token for that user. We'll also start that off as empty. And maybe I'll give it a simple property here, get logged in, so that I can have an easy expression from the view like user.loggedIn, which returns true or false, and essentially all I need to do here is just look to see if a token is present. So if the token is truthy, then I know the user is logged in. And let me also give the service a method that I can invoke, let's call it set profile, that will allow me to set the username and token. So set profile is a function that when you invoke it, you'll pass in the username and the access token for this user. And I'll just say profile.username equals that incoming username. And just make sure I have this spelled correctly and profile.token equals that incoming token. The next job then would be for my authorization service. Once we receive a response from our OAuth server, we take the username that the user has given us and the token that has come back from the server and we hand that off to the current user service. So I will also inject current user. And now we need to do some processing on this post request. So that returns a promise and I'll call then and say, let's execute this function on a successful post. I can say current user, let's invoke that set profile method. I'm going to pass in the username that was given to me. And of course, what will come into this then method is the object representing the HTTP response from the server. To get to the token that is inside of there, I just need to go to response.data.access token. It will be just that easy because of the deserialization that Angular will automatically apply to that response. And then I could return some arbitrary value here. Let's just return username. But in very few scenarios will the caller actually need a return value from the promise because most of the work will be taken care of by this OAuth service and the current user service. We'll grab the token and we'll store it. The caller just wants to know if this was all successful or not. And one way I could start to see if this was successful or not is let me just refresh the application and try to log in one more time. And what I'm hoping to see is that the login form will disappear and it's replaced with hello S Allen. Now I'm pretty sure that I have correctly stored the token somewhere where I can access it. Now I just need to make sure that that token goes out so that when I try to view the secret recipe, I actually get some data back. We'll do that next.